because I wanted to make a video with some um, eating sounds and some clinking and tapping and I thought why don't I buy some cake glue and I thought it would be interesting if I bought some of the Mexican candy that I regularly buy and have a little show and tell video. So that's what I'm going to do today. I have a few. I might make two short videos. I love this blanket. It's really nice and soft and um, it wasn't very expensive and it's my favorite blanket. Um, it's very comfortable, very soft and nice to sleep with because it's warm. At the same time, it doesn't make you sweat. It's like a light weight, um, furry blanket and I really, really like it. I think it looks pretty on camera. Okay. So the first thing I wanted to show you is Ricolino Dulce. So I got this big pack. You could buy them in smaller packs. Um, this is the strawberry and vanilla flavor. Bimbo Prada and there are 18 in this box and there are 80 calories per serving. Each serving is one unit and you'll see what a unit is when you open I um when I open it. Um this is actually a product of Mexico. These are made in Mexico. Ciudad de Mexico. It contains soy and milk. It's made with non fat milk. I was going to say, what is this? There's a bunch of bold writing. Um, so yeah, this was already opened. So when you open it up, you see a bunch of nuggets. They look like this. Little doodolines with the little boy on there playing soccer. You flip it over, you could see the vanilla and strawberry flavors are separated. Seems to be a lot more strawberry in this one. It's a hard plastic. And they come with their own little sticks to twist off. Let's give it a couple of twists. You can pick up the corner here. It. There it goes. You peel it back. There's all the vanilla. And you just take a little scoop. I'm going to try the vanilla first. It kind of tastes like artificial, artificially flavored, which it says on the um, on the front, artificially flavored candy. Um, it tastes like 
frosting. Like you would buy the individual frosting containers. It has that consistency. Let's try it. The strawberry. Mm, the strawberry tastes like um like an inexpensive strawberry ice cream but again it has that frosting consistency let's try them together i like the way that looks so it looks like a like a jelly bean almost with a little tail a little jelly bean with a tail Mm. It's good, but it, if you're looking for a more competitive, it's really sweet. Um, it really does have that artificial candy flavor. If you're looking for something that tastes um, more fruity, I don't know, I'm thinking like, aren't all candies artificially flavored? But Jolly Ranchers or something seem to have like a richer taste to me. This is a little bit more, I want to say flat. It has a flat taste. But I like it. It's still good. But you have to know what you're in for. They come in other flavors because I know I've purchased the vanilla and chocolate duoing. Sandia from this is baby. This cute little chip. Is that a chip? This is very creepy. This is what the candy looks like inside. This like round ball thing with a little band around it. This is also made in this. You'll see the Echo in Mexico. Um, made in Jalisco, Mexico. But distributed by a company in Ontario, Canada. And it says, do not consume. I saw exclamation points. Do not consume children under three years of age or diabetics okay and i like this on a lot of these candies they have i don't know if you can see because it's like black on plastic clear plastic separamos la basura so recycle and then in this candy you have the nutritional information in spanish and in english and it says that um, one candy is 30 calories. I really love this green color. I hope my, my heat being on doesn't affect the sound too terribly. This comes with 18 pieces, and I think this was only or something. I don't think any of the candy I purchased was over four dollars. And it says down here Caramelo Nacritos Sabor Sandia Regina de Chile. The Chile, sorry. Hard candy watermelon flavor filled with chili. So you'll find a lot of Mexican candy is a combination of hot and sweet so you have to be prepared because sometimes you'll go to eat something and there's there's a, um, a hot aftertaste or a hot surprise because something in the middle there's chili in the middle or 
you'll see um, like a sweet candy like watermelon or strawberry and on the outside it's like dipped in chili a lot of um, Mexican candies are tamarind flavored you see tamarindo on the, on the packaging and it'll be covered in some form of hot um, spicy herbs or something um, like tahini or something Tahini is a, is a seasoning that people like to put on their fruit. Often you'll see it on, on, on like mango or something. Pineapple. I don't even think you do. Okay. So this is already torn here, so that's what I'm going to tear. Oops. I did. All the way down the bag. That's okay. This is one of the little coaches. Yep, it's the little ball with the little band around it, and it is it's got some green in there, mostly red little ball. Oh, it's really good, really nice watermelon flavor. Mm. I should go look for my receipt. I swear this is only like a dollar forty or something. I think the, um, I want to say that do really knows around $3. And I actually got these in my local Walmart. Um, but there are tons. I live in an area which is predominantly Hispanic, and there are a ton of grocery stores that, you know, cater to, um, the community. And they have tons of, um, Latin spices and um candies vegetables you know what i might go buy for a future video a bunch of traditional mexican like fruits and vegetables that they sell sometimes they could get a little pricey but i think that would be cool maybe show you how they're used oh my goodness i didn't realize and eat these on your own. You don't realize how big they are. I'm trying to suck them to the chili center. I don't know if I'm going to get there in this video. It's really good though. Now it's nice and shiny. Is that gross? <laughs> Is that gross that I just took that out of my mouth to show you? Sorry. It doesn't look gross though. It just looks nice and shiny though. Like a polished marble. It's so good. But when you get to the center, you definitely will hit a nice little chile, chile bang. Let me put these in here. I love the little watermelon. Did you notice that? Sandia. It means watermelon. Sour is flavor. So, watermelon flavor. And, um, it looks like little watermelons. There's little, it's green for the rind and then for the outside. And then, um, it has little seeds at the top of the sandia. That's cute. It's funny because you buy these things all the time and then, but I don't inspect them regularly. 
so the key is for that. I just know if there's water on here too. How did I never notice this thing? Okay. I'm gonna continue with that candy later. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so sweet. And I want to show you this. I like when this looks smooth. And you know when I go to bed, oh, this feels so good on your skin. But I do that constantly on my legs. I just rub it back and forth. It's like a, a little meditation, a little soothing exercise I do until I fall asleep. This is De La Rosa Mazapan. It's peanut candy marzipan style dulce de cacahuate is mazapan so dulce is candy cacahuate is peanut in the mazapan style, marzipan style i love their i love their logo de la rosa what does that logo mean i'm gonna pull back well it's this beautiful flower here it's so nice of course this is um I bought the box and um the ingredients are sugar peanuts and artificial flavor so if you have a peanut allergy not not for you but these are so good and you're missing out oh. so for one serving it's one piece and they're 140 calories and again everything this is because the small box everything nutrition facts are are here um again it has the ikimeku and recycle this um this is made in mexico in jalisco has another um recycling thing here recycling symbol But I really, oh, isn't that so pretty the way it's highlighted? It's this beautiful rich red with these detailed leaves. And it has these beautiful highlights all around it. It's so pretty. So there are 12 pieces in this box. And again, you could tell this was opened already. Oh, and you know what? It says right here, this has been a favorite since 1950. These candies have been around a while. So when you open it, it's these beautiful flowers. And they're wrapped in plastic. Sealed in the back. And the plastic makes this really cute. And then each one has this beautiful flower on it. Oh, I love that flower. This will make a mess. That's why I saved it for last for this video. Because it crumbles. Look at that. It already split in half. It just crumbles to bits. I'm not going to as big as I can so it doesn't come out of my beautiful blanket. Oh. So this does, this reminds me, the texture reminds me of moon sand. If you've ever had moon sand, it's like play sand for kids, but it mushes together and it will hold its form. That's kind of the, it's like kind of dry moon sand. I don't know if you can see my finger in there. I 
kind of just see it just kind of breaks apart it's a little drier so you usually have this with like milk or something tea coffee Mm. And it does have mm, um, a slightly wet chalk. <laughs> it's probably not the most enticing description, but it has like a wet chalky texture in your mouth. You could taste it. It's faint peanut. It's not like if you ate a, um, like a Butterfinger. It kind of has that. It's a little sweeter, but it has that kind of hint of peanut. I don't know how to do that because the ingredients are just sugar, peanut, and artificial flavor. So I don't know... How the peanut flavor is the stronger, but it's good. But like I said, it'll make a mess. Look, I don't think I got any on here. Did I? I don't think so. But it is. Mm. It is strange eating it without some kind of coffee or milk or something. And there are, but I just hit a piece. It is ground up peanut, but you will find smaller bits of peanut in there. Maybe the size of. Mm, I can't think. Maybe half the size of a regular M&M. I think that was about the size this peanut was. I don't want to take it out of my mouth and show you though. That would be gross. So today... I lost the little stick. I tried really new. I put it back in there. Locochos. Locochos? Sorry. Locochos. Sabor Sandia. And some De La Rosa. Which is the messy game. But aren't they so pretty if you open that? And you see all these beautiful roses. Isn't that so pretty? Okay. So I have a few more. But I think I'll make a separate.